So in this video we will learn about active voice and passive voice and also we will learn about what exactly are active and passive voice and their basic structure and when we have to use active voice and passive voice. In next video we will learn more about active and passive voice in depth. So this video will be the basic building blocks for the active and passive voice. So watch till end as it is very important part in grammar. So let's get started. What is active voice? In active voice subject performs the action and object receives the action. For example, I love my friends. So in this sentence, what is the subject I? And what is the action here? Love. And who is receiving that? That is my friends. So in the active voices, the sentence structure is straightforward. That is subject plus verb plus object. Remember this structure properly. So now let's learn about passive voice. Passive voice is more interest the object or the person experiencing the action rather than the person who is performing the action. The order is reverse here. What does it mean? So let's see with the same example and understand it clearly. I love my friends. Here I is the subject doing the action and the sentence structure is subject plus verb plus object. Passive voice, object takes the place of subject and the subject takes the place of object by being added to it. So it will be like object plus third form of the verb plus by plus subject. Here we use third form of the verb. So when we convert the same sentence, it will be clear for you. My friends are loved by me. Here friends are object and loud is the verb's third form and me is the subject. Here my friends are receiving the action of love by me. I hope you are clear about the sentence and the general sentence structure between two. Please note that both the sentences I love my friends and my friends are loved by me are exactly same in the meaning. Now you might be thinking if both sentences are identical in meaning which you want to use. Yes, generally we use active voice only. So your next question would be then when to use passive voice, what is the need of it? There are mainly two cases that you should use passive voice. When you don't know the subject at all, you should use passive voice. For example, Steve's wallet was stolen. Here the object is wallet which was stolen but we don't know by whom. Which means we don't know the subject here so we used passive voice so let's see another example all the cookies have been eaten here we don't know the subject who has eaten the cookies so we used passive voice let's look into the next case when we can use passive voice when you want to give more importance to the action rather than subject who performed the action now let's see an example. Solar plant will be built in Gujarat. Here we give more importance to the object solar plant rather than the subject who is building it. Next example. The road is being repaired. Here also we are not interested in who is repairing the road but we are interested in the repair activity. These are the main uses that you can use passive voice. That's all in this video about active voice and passive voice. So let's quickly raise what we have learned today. Firstly, we learned about active voice. Here, the subject performs the action and the object receives the action. The sentence structure, subject plus verb plus object. Then we learned about passive voice. Here, more important has given to the object in the action that is being performed rather than the subject who has performed the action. The sentence structure of it is 
object plus third form of the verb plus by plus subject remember these are just a general structure and the modification of the structure based on the tenses which we will learn in next class okay then we discussed about when to use passive voice you can use passive voice when you don't know the subject and when you want to focus on the action rather than who did it